Good evening, Americans and humans. This is your favorite alien here on the evening of Thursday, July 15th, uh, 14th, pardon me, 2022. And today's commentary is on Saudi Arabia. So here we go. Well, Americans and humans, especially Americans and the people that come over from other countries like Saudi Arabia and other Arab countries and stuff like this, uh, who are griping about the crown prince of Saudi Arabia meeting with President Biden or vice versa and wanting to know if President Biden is going to growl at him for the assassination of Anand Khashoggi, who was a uh, Saudi Arabian national living in the United States, uh, did he have a green card for the United States, or was he just a visa guy who had a special visa? I haven't heard anywhere in the media, both United States and world, what the status of Mr. Khashoggi was in the United States, and he was working for a news organization, too. And here's the problem with all your gripes. Saudi Arabia is a sovereign state, a member of the United Nations, which is a joke, because when you become member states in a planetary union, you have responsibilities as a state once you join the union. In the, in the uh, uh, United Nations, there is no such thing. Heck, you become a nation, you become part of the United Nations, and that's the way they do it. You become a nation, and they give you membership right off the bat. Uh, really? No. It shouldn't be that way. Heck, you kicked out... Uh, nationalist China to bring in communist China and nobody said a darn thing about that did they? Mm -hmm. You kept the Soviet Union in there and you gave them special privileges along with communist China in 1971. Yeah. And then you're saying human rights? I don't see any human rights anywhere on this planet. The Americans themselves violate human rights on their own people. So why are you griping about that? As for the assassination of Mr. Khashoggi uh, by the Crown Prince, ordered by the Crown Prince, allegedly, you who got to use that word allegedly because you don't know. So the alleged uh, things that you're saying out there is the Crown Prince killed Anand Khashoggi. Well, he was killed, yes. But was he killed in Istanbul? Yes and no. And why is Mr. Khashoggi in Istanbul in the first place? He's over there griping about his own country. That's like me going to my uh, home planet or my host, Mr. DeGracia here's home state of Panama and saying, under the uh, Noriega regime back in the 1980s and saying, Cara de piña, cara de piña. Oh, yeah. And you guys that know Spanish know what that is. And then walking into the U.S. Embassy or any uh, consulate in the United States, a Panamanian consulate, and uh, you expect to walk out of the consulate? Do you understand what an embassy and a consulate is? Really? Do you? I don't think so. Or you wouldn't be griping about, oh, you killed Anand Khashoggi. Well, yes, they killed Anand Khashoggi. Is that a world thing situation? No. Because you didn't have the prime directives or anything associated with killing. Okay? And that's the problem you have today. Mr. Khashoggi went into the consulate of his own nation, Saudi Arabia. He was still a Saudi Arabian national. He wasn't a paper American, as most people are. 
otherwise known as naturalized citizens. You're still not a true citizen. Your descendants are, but you are never going to be a true citizen of the country you're in. Do you understand that? You're always going to be a paper or a naturalized citizen. Second class. No matter how they put it, you're always our second because you're not a native born. Because you never dealt with this in your society. Global or state society and not but i mean national state society look at the problems that the united states has in their own states you got 50 countries here and now that you have the abortion issue you got different states with different laws and stuff like that and what's going to happen when you go from one state to another that's another country you want what extradition because oh uh, yeah they performed abortion over there so you got to go back to texas uh, yeah, really See what I mean? In Mr. Khashoggi's case, Americans and humans, he went to his own consulate, which according to your so-called United Nations and World uh, Law, that particular space is the natural territory of the state which it originates said in this case a consulate was saudi arabian it's saudi arabian territory under saudi arabian law and if they want to kill them they have the right to do it is it right well no is it moral hell no but still that's the right you give them don't tell me about human rights you guys gave them the right to kill them by giving them the right to uh have their own laws in the territory of a different nation. Is, is Turkey upset about that? Oh, yeah. But that wasn't their territory, remember? And how they dispose of the body? Well, it's under diplomatic pouch, whether it's you put them like you do for uh, Mr. Hoffa here in the United States, put them in the drum, but put the remains in something, a drum, uh, a tote bag, a tote, you know, that you carry those 30-gallon totes in there. You put all the remains in there uh, so they don't stink and uh, ferry them out, put them on your plane, and uh, throw them out the nearest ocean. In this case, what, the Aegean Ocean <laughs> or the Black Sea, whichever one you want to go because uh, Istanbul is right by the Black Sea. Over there. So I, I would throw them in the Black Sea because that's Russian territory. I wouldn't go to the Aegean Sea because that's a Mediterranean arm and eh, well, you get all kinds of problems with the <gasps> Europeans. <clears throat> so you see what I mean, Americans and humans. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? It's a internal matter because of the way you put your laws externally and internally. Therefore, you have no right to gripe about Khashoggi's uh, internment. If you don't believe me, ask the Russians in Estonia. In their capital city of Estonia, they have this huge building that's a triangle. Atrad prison, I believe, if I pronounce that right. Where the Russians and the Soviets... Uh, put a lot of Estonian nationals in there because they wanted to eliminate them, just like they wanted to eliminate the uh, Ukrainians. And nothing was done about that for decades because it was part of the Soviet Union, Estonian SSR. But the Estonians, known as the forest fighters, were very bad. But if you look at that building, it had thousands of inmates. It was the Alcatraz of the Soviet Union and 10 times worse than Alcatraz. They had, what, three escapes from that? And none of them escaped. They were all confirmed dead. The Soviets are weak. And the way they did it, if you look at that prison, they took everything off you. They fed you at irregular times so you didn't know what the biolo biological time was. They put you on 24-7 confinement so you didn't know what time it was. And by the time you were there for years, you were just 
a shell that's still living. This is the problems that you have human beings and Americans. So don't gripe about Mr. Khashoggi when you have and you created the international and the local laws that allowed him to get killed. Because he got killed in the territory of the Saudi Arabia, which is an internal matter. This is your favorite alien. Good day.